Here we have the Hasbro adding machine. It's a toy, of course. They call it a, a precision calculator. It adds, subtracts, multiplies, featuring five columns, totals to 99,999. But uh, let's take a look. Some instructions showing how you, explaining how to clear it and how to do those uh, calculations. And here it is. It has a, a five-digit register here. It's a bit hard to see. And for each digit there's a, a slider above it with which you can input the number. It's a little bit like the uh, Wolverine or the Peter Pan uh, calculator, but it's in plastic instead of metal. So, yeah, to enter a number, just put your finger in the correct hole for that digit. So if I put a 6 in the first column, and a 5 in this column, yeah, then you can read it off here. And, yeah, when you enter another number, it adds it on. So if I add uh, 6 to this, it should carry over, but it doesn't. It's not very accurate, sometimes that carry just doesn't work. It uh, depends a little bit on how well these uh, number wheels are aligned. But uh, let's try again. Yeah, now it carries over properly. And. Uh, there's this uh, totals bar. You can slide this up and that covers the register, allowing you to uh, try and mentally calculate along and then uh, re you can reveal it afterwards to see if you were right. And when you open it up, the bell should ring. And uh, there's this clearing mechanism, kind of. Uh, what this does is when you press this down it uh, activates some hooks so that these uh, number wheels cannot go past zero. So you can now just slide it down until it doesn't move any further and uh, then yeah you should, it should be on zero. You have to go from right to left because the yeah when it when a number goes to zero, it carries over. And that's also why the instructions say that you have to start with a register that doesn't show any nines or zeros, because then, uh, yeah, the, the carry might not work. For example, this one I can't now set to zero if I have this pressed down, because it would try and carry over this digit. And this one is already on zero. So, yeah, that won't work. Ah, thankfully the carry didn't work this time, so it's fully zero. It's a really simple machine. I had to open it because, uh, yeah, it was all gummed up. The uh, mechanism is really, really easy. Here's, here's the clearing button. It, uh, yeah, it has these hooks. That, uh, that grab onto these, these little uh, teeth to set it to zero. And yeah, here we have, these are the uh, carry wheels. So uh, when a number uh, moves over from, from nine to zero, the, this tooth on the, the right hand side uh, pushes the next wheel along. Yeah, and here are the springs that uh, pull these sliders. There's a little metal spring here, leaf spring, that uh, uh, keeps the wheel from turning the wrong way. And that allows the, uh, the slider to return 
without uh, moving the wheel back again. So that's all there is really. The uh, oh yeah, the the totaling uh, uh, slider. The mechanism for ringing the bell is behind here. It, you can hardly see it, but that's a really simple thing as well. So let me just put this back together. The uh, let me let me just put these uh, in the right orientation. The, these ends are uh, slanted in the same direction as the case. So I missed this one, done this one wrong. There we go. So these are uh, flush with the edge of the case. says Hasbro made in the USA. I haven't been able to find any patents for this so I don't know if uh, yeah if there is a patent and I don't know who designed it. it. Maybe it doesn't even have a patent at all because it's not that original. And uh, here are the instructions explaining how to clear the machine with uh, with all those zeros and nines that you have to avoid. So that was the uh, yeah the Hasbro adding machine. Thank you for watching.